Right, welcome back everybody to the sweet corn 10 day update. Well, I think it might have been 12 days, but who's counting? Where, as a new grower to sweet corn, I've been videoing my sweet corn pretty much every 10 days, showing what's going on, asking loads of stupid questions because I don't know what to do or what's happening next. People who know what they're talking about chip in. We all learn together. Happy days. I stick it in a playlist and by the end of it, we'll have grown sweet corn from seed to plate. Um, well, to my stomach, actually, because I'm really looking forward to eating them. Right, so in the polytunnel, they are, of course, no different the last time. Eight feet, bouncing off the, the ceiling. Cobs galore. Now, my question to people who know about these things now is, is three cobs on a stalk too much? I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. It's happening. But will the third cob develop? That's what I'd like to know. I mean, we got, you know, the flowers are there and I've been pulling them off. The cobs are looking fantastic. I mean, look at the size of that. I can hardly get me hand. Where's my hand? I can hardly get my hand around that. Beauty. Beauty. And what I've been trying to do is to help with the pollination. I've been spreading all the tassels out and giving the old thing a shake. Occasionally, what I've been doing is pulling off one of these and just rubbing it all over the tassels. Um, the side shoots, they've started to flower. When I say side shoots, what I mean is at the base you've got the main shoot coming up and then two side shoots they've started to flower in fact oh, look at this this side shoot it started to form a cob i mean it's, it's bonkers that's that'll be three four off that one plant so really tonight's question is is three cobs too many three cobs too many but the other thing is, you, you can sort of tell they've gone past their flourishing, stunning greenness that, that they had. You know, that's all looking a bit brown and it gives you the feeling of we've done our job. We've grown. We've produced cobs. We've pollinated them. Now it's up to the kernels to grow. So that feels like the, um, the stage they're at. There again, another one. That's another one with three on. Um, as far as looking after them, all I've been doing is watering them every four days, deep watering them. And every 12 days, they get a top dressing of Vitax Q4 granular fertilizer i mean they're stunning aren't they hey i absolutely love these one of my favorite plants and so much going on there again look at the size of that cob i mean it's huge you know that's my hand i'm so looking and from this stage anybody who knows how long before they're ready how long before they're ready and is it a case of picking the ones as I notice them change? Or do we pick them all together? I'm guessing we sort of pick them as we decide they're ripe. Right, well, that's the ones in the polytunnel. Looking amazing, obviously. Let's go and look at the ones outside. Right, so these are the outside ones, just over six foot. Now, last week, we didn't have any tassels on these, but true to form, here they are. Looking lovely, looking green. Flowers aren't quite to the point of dropping pollen yet, but I figure that'll work in my favor because the tassels already just come out. So, I mean, there's some at the top are starting to drop pollen. And you can see pollen 
on the leaves and you see it's quite windy out here so I'm hoping all will be well it'll be really interesting to see the difference in the size of the cobs how many kernels are in the cobs because each each one of these strings each one of those tiny little strings will become a cob of corn I mean it still blows my mind you know you plant a tiny little kernel of corn and the genetics inside it I suppose it's genetics produces something like this I mean you got to love gardening haven't you fantastic um, we're a bit dwarfed at the end here because I put in some sunflowers they're growing away that's not the point of this video back to this Pete back to this right so same thing out here I I don't think I've ever I've ever watered these that <laughs> we've had enough rain happy days but I have given them the um, top in top dressing of Vitax every 12 days the same as inside and if you've been following along you know we've got poor old private Ryan here that we've been saving he's, I don't think he's going to produce any corn but who cares he sat there loving life growing away no need to pull him out he ain't hurting nobody so there we go well, crikey this has got three Right, so we got one, two, three. Makes me sound like Sesame Street. Today's video is brought to you by number three and the color green. So there we go. That's this this ten days catch up. Is three too many? Let me know. And I know Glenn from Veggie Patch Ideas. He protects his around the bottom with a bit of mesh in case anything gets in or to eat them. Um, I've done the same. Well, I put some mesh around when I put the climbing French beans in because I didn't want the rabbits to eat them. So there we go. Number one question for this evening is three too many. Not that I can do anything about it. Right, well, there we go. See you in another 10 days. Thanks for watching. Cheers and gone.